Well, we've made it to Royal Port Rush and we're lucky to get a little tour from one of the locals, Ricky Elliott. How good is it to be home? Unbelievable, can't believe it's here. Uh, place looks a little different. Well, we're gonna pick out some feature holes and obviously we're here at the first and with a new grandstand and we're not far away from where you used to work as well. No, I used to work in there with Day Stevenson, the old pro here. Um, the lads used to come in there, sign their cards, twos competitions, pay their pound and away they go. Um, the tea box has obviously moved back a little bit, as you can see from the, the pro shop now. The old pro shop, it's probably in play now. Uh, you <laughs> for know, you and I, yeah. For you and I, yeah. The hole's gone a little longer, but uh, it's going to be a good test. When they stand on this first tee, what are the risks? Obviously, we can. there's going to be a thousand plus people yeah. standing in the fairways, but what are the big risks out there? Uh, obviously, it doesn't look tight, but uh, any first tee shot is always a nerve-wracking thing. Uh, you can't really feel the wind in here for all the stands. Um, if out of bounds right, out of bounds left, there'll be a few lads going over there trying to hit it through the middle of those bunkers. That's a new bunker on the right. Never seen that, never been in it. So I've never made a bogey out of it. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to you? Obviously you've seen this course a million times, but uh, now you're here for the Open Championship. It must be a different sort of feeling it's for pretty, you. It's pretty surreal to be honest, yeah. As I say, we grew up here, uh, myself and Graham. Uh, used to come down here on our bikes, put the bikes up against the wall. Now it's gone all all big time here with the Open, uh, <laughs> but it's it's marvellous to see everybody here. Um, uh, you know, we, we do a sort of circus on the road and to have a lot of my pals come to come to your hometown is, is pretty special. All right, well it's time to go check out the course and let's see what the Port Rush has to offer. Now we've made it to the fifth hole, one of the poster holes here at Royal Port Rush and what a view it is, Ricky, tell us a bit about it. It's unbelievable, yeah. The uh, We've got the scary islands out there, it gives a pretty good uh, line for the lads off the tee. Uh, downwind, you can take it a little further right, some of the bigger hitters will be able to hit it on. Um, well speaking of bigger hitters, uh, you're on the bag of uh, Big Brooksy, will he be taking this bad boy on? He'll definitely be taking it on, yeah. Like he said, there's a... Uh, you know, it's probably a three wood or a driver for him in the right conditions. Uh, if it's playing into the wind, you've got to take it a little further left. Um, but, but generally, we'll be playing this pretty aggressively. What is it like coming here to Royal Port Rush and also being on the bag of now four time major winner? It must be uh, it must have been a pretty fun ride so it's far. It's incredible, for you two. yeah. It's all happened in the last two years. Um, you know, you can never see it really coming. He's played great in the big events. Um, and just to be home, I mean, in our job caddying, you never know whether you're going to be here or not, but to be actually here with him is, is pretty special for me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a hot place to be. There's a great grandstand behind us, so make sure you get down to the fifth, but we're going to check out the great view and see what it's all about. Okay, Ricky, we've made it down to the beautiful fifth. Uh, obviously, on a good day, you can see a lot more. Yeah, absolutely. When it's clear there, you can see all the way to Scotland. It's about 25 miles only. Uh, don't think anybody's ever swam it, but uh, <laughs> it could be a first this week. But and tell me, this out of bounds, it's pretty close, very close to the beach. Yeah, exactly. It's four yards from the back of the green. Some of these back pins, there's, a, there's going to be a few... Uh, a few people over the back here. It's a great view, but it's not exactly it's not exactly the place you want to be. Brooks, take note. There's going to be some people on the beach, but we don't want you to be one of them. And as you can see here, the fifth hole is going to be very busy. Got young Adam Scott here. He's trying to, for once, stay away from the surf. But what are the hot tips for players like Adam uh, coming into the fifth here, Ricky? Um, yeah, just stay off the beach. I know he likes the beach, but uh, it's pretty pretty close by. But I'm sure he doesn't want to be down there this week. Do you think he'll like the weather over here in Northern Ireland? I think he'll love it. Yeah, it's a nice low, low trajectory. Uh, I've seen that stinger three iron a few times. It's going to work well around here. Well, very good. There you have it. Words of wisdom. Nice part. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about <laughs> Well, Ricky, we've made it to Big Nelly. That's right, the seventh hole. It's a new one. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, new hole. Uh, they've replicated this from the old 17th of the old course. Um, it's not a place you want to be. Uh, you could end up in here for a while. You might even be buried in here. For you, who's been a member here for so long, it must be pretty uh, pretty unique to have new holes to, to look yeah, at. Yeah, they're, they're spectacular. It looks like they've been here a long time. Uh, two very good holes and uh, excited to tackle them. Can the boys eagle this? Is it too long? No, they've got two or three different tee options. If it's downwind, they can get there, some of the bigger hitters. Um, 
it's going to be hard to carry this bunker and it's going to take us a while to wreck it if they're in there. Well, it's probably going to take us a while to get out of it, but let's move on and uh, let's see what else Port Rush has got to offer. Ricky just can't get away from the day job. And you can see that technique, a high elbow, this right elbow here. Yeah. This is what we're all about. It's all technique, yeah. Keeping it in tight yep. and uh, what a good friend of mine always says, rake it as if you'd want to play off it. Exactly, exactly. I'm pretty used to this here. Cut in for the sorry, lad mate. that I use. Sorry mate, you missed the spot. Oh, sorry. Bloody hell. <laughs> Well, we've made it to the 16th hole, and Ricky, this is crunch time. This is where the Open could be won or lost. Absolutely. A three's never going to do you any harm here. Obviously, all the trouble's right. Half Antrim's to your left, so everybody's going to be hitting it left of the screen. And as you can see, we're really exposed to the elements here as well. We've been battling the rain and the winds all day. Yeah, it just pumps over the other course here. We can see down here to the right. Um, as I say, you don't want to be down there. You're going to need some uh, special help to get up that hill. And why do they call it Calamity Corner, Ricky? For obvious reasons. Uh, there's been a lot of calamities here, and it being near the end of the round, a three is going to do you no harm. You've played here, but what's your worst ever score on this treacherous um, hole? I think of it everything, from <laughs> double figures to sevens, eights, nines, twos, everything. Well, Ricky, hopefully none of the players make double figures, but uh, let's move on and check out the final hole, the 18th. Well, we've made it here to the final hole. This is where all the drama will unfold. Ricky, what an amazing view. It's incredible, yeah, the stand's up. Uh, we've got plenty of lines at those windows from the tee. It's a top quality hole. It's going to take a good, uh, good tee shot to tackle this one. So you'll be aiming at a few punters having a couple of quiet drinks here yeah, on Sunday it's, afternoon? It's going to be rowdy, uh, there's going to be a lot of people in the stands, um, out of bounds left obviously, we don't want to be too close to them. In terms of 18 holes, in terms of the final hole at Open Championships, where does this compare in difficulty? Uh, it's, it's very difficult, it's a relatively wide fairway, um, the further left you hit it, the better line you have up the green. Take one shot at a time when you're when you're in contention. So the, the tee shots uh, very important. When you're sitting here with Brooks, he's tied for the lead with one hole to go. What do you tell him? How do you? Uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Stay well clear. Yes. Well, there you have it. Say nothing at all. We're going to go down and check out the big new grandstand and see where all the magic is going to unfold. Well, after a long day in the sun, we've finally made it to the 18th. Uh, tell us about this beautiful hole, Ricky. Yeah, it's the old 16th. Uh, it's going to make a fine uh, 18th hole. We've got enough people around. There's no hiding at this point. Um, the whole world will be watching, including hundreds of spectators around here. The second shot's going to play a little sheltered here because of the stands, but uh, it's a great finishing hole. How's, how amazing is it to see a quite a relaxed hole of golf turned into such an arena? Yeah, it's amazing. It's usually quiet out here, but on uh, Sunday night it's going to be uh, it's going to be quite noisy, and uh, it's going to welcome a great champion. Well, Ricky, uh, thanks so much for your time today and showing us around the course on a beautiful day. <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure, and we uh, hope you all the best on and off the course. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's, it's a normal day in Port Rush. It'll probably be sunny this afternoon, so uh, we'll look forward to that. Well, if we don't see you at Harbour Bar, we'll see you on the first tee. But ladies and gentlemen, we can officially say the Open is not far away.